Hi, in this Blender tutorial, I demonstrate you that how I created the Game Boy console so or brick game console. So let's get started now pressing A and delete. Uh, go to the top view by pressing 7 on a numpad key. Uh, before starting, you have to download some reference images uh, like this. Okay, I choose this and these images to make my module. Okay, uh, just import it by click and drag here and if you import it in a different view by mistaken like this the image should like this and just select the image and press alt r to clear the rotation and press shift s and then select uh, selection to cursor to center it out in the world environment okay now uh, add a cube or plane uh, i like plane and scale the the plane and i just try to okay it doesn't have to be more precise but okay now add uh, two loop cuts uh, one here and one here and add a loop cut in between these two uh, loop cuts so your mesh should look like this now uh, select this uh, middle one and uh, press uh, G Z and drag it up uh, and go to the object mode and press A and apply the rotation and scale. Uh, now press uh, tab and add it, enter to the edit mode and now press control B and bevel it out like this. Okay. Okay. Now for I'm um, hiding my image for a while and press all select all and E Z to okay and uh, now back our image here now add some add a cylinder for our switches or buttons whatever we call uh, where it is okay hmm. Hmm. i just like random colors so i can see a little okay array to okay it doesn't have to be perfect okay it should be have 1.25.5 and I make it 2 actually because it's have two switches and add another array beneath this array and add 1.25 in y direction mm, it's zero and rotate it out like this mm, okay so 1.5 okay now they are equally distance or drag drag it here shift d make it delete both of these scale and place it here okay now go to the side view and uh, enable vertex snap mode press control and just snap their heights so we can have this now zoom in on the buttons and now press and control B to bevel the edges of the switches or buttons oh, why I'm calling it switches I don't know why okay same for this one also like and select all of them make sheets mode by right click okay uh, I'm just done with the image uh, one last thing that I want to do is to mark the screen go to the enter um, eight uh, center image control b uh, like this and control b like this control b control r oh, sorry okay okay mm -hmm. now i can hide my image uh, before you do 
just add some loop cuts uh, to separate your switches so when we are unwrapping it uh, we have a little control over it uh, uh, like uh, the text and all so I'm just not paying attention to the geometry now but I'm just separating my switches to like this so I can place my text there easily uh, if I mess up with my uh, textures a little okay mm, okay that will do add another one here okay now select the edge loops by pressing alt and uh, hmm, like this control b okay it is pretty much done so this space is little sharp and select the whole loop cut pressing 3 control b okay now it's not add a shade smooth bring back our image because i forgot to insert the screen so select this i think it is the same image okay yeah uh, hide it and i accidentally selected this so we shift okay mm, press i uh, insert little bit and drag it down hmm. this will be our screen so go to the uh, data project normals and add auto smooth so make it sharp okay if you want you can add a a subdivision surface and then uh, line it up but for texturing I'm just uh, doing this and now I'm just dragging the image uh, nearby this so I can have a reference for the textures just for reference now uh, go to the overlay modes and enable the wireframe and if you want you just uh, check it material so it becomes white uh, to export our te for texture I use viewport image render so it gave me this kind of image and by using this kind of image I created a, a texture in Inkscape click drag here I imported my image like this and then I just uh, add a rectangle tool and draw above it make a opacity a little down where it is export opacity a little so I can see then I add add uh, text text and all that stuff to create the texture like this so for text I just made a grid and then just highlight it and copy paste here and then add some little and add this kind of text and this line and name and I export it as a image in my folder uh, you can see this here so I'm gonna use this the same image for my texturing work um, okay for now I don't need this image basically so I'm just deleting that go to the shading mode and add a new texture okay uh, you can use any color but I'm going with a blue for now and add a mix rgb and duplicate our principal bsdf and make it black and connect it with the and uh, now if you have node wrangler enable you press ctrl t and it will give you a uh, uh, this setup which have image texture connected to the factor and uh, uh, okay you can see that my texture is almost ready and go to the 
uv editor i don't want it so okay now if i press tab and uh, start it to adjust my texture first so i just u project from u a s if i if it doesn't work okay this will do so so if this doesn't uh, work with you uh, you can use a different kind of technique uh, like i'm using here that's why i add this kind of uh, loop cuts here so i can just uh, drag the text out of it and then uh, make it white or whatever color you want so like this and make it white okay so it's a very easy trick to set up your textures and it won't try to match the alignment of the text uh, so it will not be very okay like this and if it don't work you can add a another loop cut select these faces and make it white okay uh, like this now for this I'm just having this image and okay I want it to okay and just make it white I think this is they are pretty much aligned but for sake of the doing I'm just adding uh, okay sound is pretty good hmm. and same for the start and pause to just align with this okay uh, you can see that it's almost ready and the texture works is pretty good I'm not paying attention to the background right now and uh, just having fun with the Add another look cut so I can have this frame object so the frame object will have here you from you and uh, scale it like just eyeballing it select the texture move it here <sighs> okay my frame is ready for the game just select these textures I believe or oh, what is this whatever you call it mm, you project from you uh, drag it here scale it a little bit and move it like this okay now same same here also oh it's pretty much aligned so scale I'm just trying to align the texture work 
okay and now the you can select the other part that you don't want to be have colors like this so select all here and go to the texture mode press c and select this all stuff mm, i think this will do and scale it down so i have a pretty good color section here uh, this too is not worked okay hmm. everything I will do. Mm -hmm. Now select this image and if I have to, uh, I have to adjust a lot more things that I think, okay. Now for the screen color, I'm just changing this image to the my reference image, okay. Now for the same material, I'm just making a copy and uh, to the color, I just use this color okay i don't know why it's working and just assign it here plus the blue one control i and assign it here so i can see you can select this one go to the image texture and scale it where it fits Like this it just like this and you can you are pretty much done just add a yellow color to the buttons and for that you can also use your reference and drag the color here like this okay I like pretty yellow much yeah okay now just select this 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 and press ctrl l to link the material now your model is ready okay stop the overlay image okay to make it render i just rx90 rx okay you can see here and drag it up uh, I forgot a little detail here so I think there's a groove in this game here okay so this make it very small by control B control minus alt s and drag it down okay that i have okay you you can use this also or you can add some uh, subdivision surface and add some loop cuts to uh, make it more perfect so i did it like this for make the render i just have add a another plane uh, scale it up way bigger and just select this and e z basic lighting studio studio lighting basically uh just make it shade smooth and make this object color is black and uh, then i add a color camera control alt zero so i don't like this shape here gz I'm just quickly adding uh, things okay now 
uh, render region now I don't like EV I use cycles and for the final render I will only use this okay okay while my object is selected control a and control a and add to rotation now go to the light and if you enable light properties uh, for this and you add a three light point light just select them and press s scale 10 10 and 10 okay this is my basic lighting uh, setup uh, the values are too low so i'm adding 3 to 300 uh, 150 and another 150 so uh, you can see that my object is not glossy so go to the shading mode to edit my material and i just down the roughness a bit so i can get a little bit and the same for the switches also and for the screen just down the roughness okay to change the color for my object i just shift d8 uh, place it like here shift d place it here to create this kind of composition and i just select this color and made it a new copy of this color and just change it to whatever color you want i like a red and for this i like i like black oh they both are same actually okay okay this is this will happen black and for the making the text white uh, just change it to white so here that's for all that's how i did it and if you can wish you can add it a little bit things and make a very good lighting and uh, make your render look good so this is the basic process i did hope you learned something and thank you very much my name is harish lohar